Toy House ich die, Toy House ich die, it's Toy House ich die. Hallo, der Kate, Baby Kathy. Hui, hui, is that the main teacher? Oh, she doesn't know what she's talking about. Okay, we're ready. Catherine, honey. Are you sure it's a good idea to wear glasses that's not your prescription? Ooh, but mommy, I found them outside. And they look really cool. <laughs> Dr. Quinn, this is my mom, Rainbow Katrina. How very nice to meet you, teacher. Ah, yes. Thank you very much for coming to the parent-teacher conference. Okay, we're ready. Uh -oh. The parent-teacher conference. Oh, yes, very important. <clears throat> this is the parent-teacher conference, not the parent-student-teacher conference. Oh yes, I'm a teacher too. Min teacher, min teacher. Rainbow Kate, this is not a group conference. I know, but we can't leave Kathy outside. She's gonna cry. Rainbow Kate, I already told Kathy she has to behave herself, so she wouldn't interrupt you. Oh, like that. Kate, please wait outside. Oh, you mean me? You mean I can't be here? We're here to talk about you, not with you. I'll be out of your hair then. Are you sure you don't want me to be here? Please wait outside. Oh, okay then. Ooh, Kate will go bye-bye. You know Kate is learning to be a teacher right now. She's going to be the student teacher for Kathy's class. Oi, oi. That's very nice. I think she's really good with little kids. Me, not so much. Oh, yes. Little kids always love Catherine. Ooh, ooh, cookie. Let's see. I think she's doing okay in my class. She always turns in her homework. Very enthusiastic to volunteer. And she's not afraid to speak up or ask questions. Catherine is very extroverted. She always seems to come up with crazy ideas. But they're actually really brilliant. Uh-huh. She definitely has a colorful imagination. Well, that certainly describes us. Anyway, she gets along with her classmates. She can probably work on being punctual. It seems like that's what's causing her to get a bunch of detentions. Oh yes, I I'm well aware. She really has trouble getting up in the morning. I tried everything. And then she gets distracted, like changing her outfits a bunch of times. But sometimes she has to run back home because she forgot something like her lunch. She does forget her stuff for this class a lot. And sometimes she gets too distracted when working in a group. So it seems like she has problems with time management. That is certainly something we can work to improve. She could be a little bit more organized. I do agree. Hoi, 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 hoi. Alright, here's her progress report. But if she continues to be late, I'm afraid I may be forced to mark her grade down. Okay, teacher. I'll work with her on it. Thank you so much. Kathy, let's go. Come on, Kathy. Oh, yeah. Wait, mommy, you monster. Kathy, that's not a toy. Come on, your sister's waiting for us. Let's go outside. Hui, <laughs> hui. Next. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh my! Why did they make this school so big? Oi! Oh! Oh! Excuse me? Are you Sarah's science teacher? Yes, I'm Sarah's teacher. Hello? 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 I'm right here. What is that on your leg? What interesting shoes you have! Oh, you look very, very tall. And, uh, very, very weird. There you are, Grandma. Sarah, I found your science teacher. That looks really, really, really strange. Grandma, you need to wear your glasses. I don't remember where I put them. Uh-oh, did you lose them? I don't know, I don't remember. Uh-oh, those are super custom prescription glasses. It's gonna take a month to get a new one. Oi, it's okay. I can still find your classroom. How rude of us. You should introduce me to your teacher. She's been standing here waiting the whole time. Grandma, th this way, this way. Oh, my. Here you go, Grandma. Sit here. Oh, my. Be careful, Grandma. Why did they make these chairs so high? Careful, careful. How can you sit in this chair all day long? It's so uncomfortable. Grandma, it's really not that bad. When I was a little girl, I liked to sit on the tatami. Yes, Grandma, but we sit on these chairs specially designed for being in school. Mom is still looking for a place to park. I should probably check in on her. Maybe she can't find my classroom. I'll be right back, Grandma! Nice to meet you, Grandma Tara. Oh, what did you say? I said, nice to meet you, Grandma Tara. Oh, yes. It is almost time to eat. You must be starving. Um, I'm quite all right. I've had some snacks. Did you know that we have a sushi restaurant? Oh, yes. I heard great Yelp reviews. Oh, my. When I was a little girl, I couldn't go to school. My family 
back in my home, we lived in a village, and we were very, 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 very poor. My father was a fisherman, and uh, my mother, she embroidered clothes for a living. Back then, it was very, 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 very expensive to go to school. My parents couldn't afford to send me to go to school. Only the rich kids get to go to school. Oh, well, I'd love to hear about your story someday. And uh, so, when I was a little girl, I would walk 10 miles in the snow every morning to go to this school in the nearby big city. I thought you said you didn't go to school. And uh, I would hide outside and listen to the class through the window. So I secretly learned what the kids that went to school learned. Wow, that's quite impressive. When I was a little girl, my father was a fisherman and he liked to catch all kinds of fish like uh, the salmon and uh, the tuna and uh, he liked to catch the fugu which is a blowfish which if you don't know how to prepare the blowfish you could die mm -hmm. and uh, he sold his fish in the fish market mm -hmm. what is taking them so long in there i don't remember having to wait this long last year I would watch my mother so beautiful kimonos. Oh, well, what time is it? Oh my. Oh dear. Oh my goodness, teacher. I am so sorry for being late. You wouldn't believe how hard it was to find parking. It's quite alright. Oh, hi mom. I'm Kara. I'm Sarah's mom. Shall we get started? Oh yes. Little Sarah. You know, she reminds me when I was a little... Sarah's a wonderful kid, straight A's, gets along with all her classmates, volunteers a lot, no behavior issues, keep up the good work. Oh, how wonderful. Did you hear that, mom? Oh, my. She said Sarah's a great student. Yes, my little Sarah. She is very, very, very bright. When I was a little... Okay, that's all I have to say. Keep up the good work. Thank you, have a good night. That was a lot easier than I expected. Oh, my. Well, thank you so much for your time, teacher. I guess I thought we were going to, like, have a longer conversation. No, no, no need. Everything's fine. Next! Well, I guess this is good news. Hey. Hello, Dr. Quinn. I brought my dad. Philip Mint. <coughs> nice to meet you. Um, nice to meet you, Philip. Go on, son. This wouldn't take too long. Hi, Dad. See ya. Hey, Philip. I'm happy to report that Peter's doing just fine. He certainly shows a lot of enthusiasm for my class. And he even mentioned that he wants to be a plant scientist. Mm -hmm. So does this mean his grades are going to make the cut? The what? To get in the National Youth Soccer League. Um, I don't know anything about that, but we're here to talk about his performance in this class. Mm -hmm. But you did say he's passing. I said that he's doing well, and he shows a lot of enthusiasm for what I'm teaching. And I wanted to recommend some extracurricular readings and activities you guys can do together. Uh-huh, that's nice. But I'm afraid we're very, very busy. May I just suggest that it is important to help him develop some interests early in life. What do you think we're doing? He's involved in all the best soccer leagues in the nation. We spend the majority of our time driving him between practices and games. And we also hired a private coach. Um, okay. Do y'all do anything other than sports? Not just the sports. Soccer is the most important thing to our family. You mean football? Well, I refer to it as soccer, so you don't get it confused with American football. Alright, whatever. Do y'all do anything other than soccer? What could be more important? Um, like learning and um... I'm sorry, I'm not following. Your son seems to be interested in things besides football. So maybe you shouldn't focus his whole life around football. Our whole family sacrificed so much for Peter. Yes, I understand. <clears throat> My father, Pedro Mint, was a hero in his country. He did everything he could so that I could one day carry on his legacy. I did just that. I was the most celebrated goalie in my home country. Now Peter is going to carry on our legacies. Just out of my curiosity, have you ever asked Peter if this is what he wants to do? That is silly. He's wanted to be a football star ever since he was a baby. That is why we sacrifice everything to move here so he can train with the best coaches and have the best chance to be a national champion. Do you always carry a football in your hand? It is glued to my hand. 
Peter is destined to be a national hero. When he was a baby, instead of playing music to help him fall asleep, we played the sound of the crowds cheering during my game. Woohoo! Yeah! Go, man! Yeah! Okay. Just to let you know, we might have to take two weeks off next semester for him to play in the interstate championship. I just encourage you to consider helping him with things other than football. Thank you, teacher. But your advice is really not necessary. What can be more important than preserving our legacy? Oh, next. Ooh. Excuse me, I'm very sorry. Ooh. What's his problem? Oh. Da -da -da. We brought you some donuts. Da Oh, why, thank you. And this is my mom, Dona Nina. Thank you for the donuts, Dona Nina. My pleasure. Dona Tina definitely does not cause any problems. However, it looks like she's kind of bored in my class. But Dona Tina does have a lot going on. She has to manage her donut empire, and she's starting her fashion line. I'm wearing one of her samples right now. She definitely has the entrepreneurial spirit. Well, not everybody has the same interest. That is true. Well, here's her progress report. Is it okay if I fold it so that it fits in this clutch? Yes. You can fold this piece of paper. Thank you, teacher. Next! <sighs> I hate this. I hate parent-teacher conference. Gee, I wonder why, Jesse. Whatever. It's like the one time out of the year, the teachers can get revenge on us. I think that's just you. I can't wait for this to be over. I would rather be at the dentist getting my teeth pulled out without anesthesia. Jess! Hurry! Whew. Sorry. Just had to get some fresh air. I'm like so nervous. We can't afford to have her be more agitated. You're right, honey. These parent-teacher conferences usually turn out pretty badly. I know, Jess, but we just have to do it. Besides, I made some of our best cupcakes. Maybe this will put her in a better mood. All right, it's just last year, the art teacher gave us an earful. Oh, yes. Then the gym teacher lectured us for three hours on our parenting skills. I know. I just don't know what to expect. And then, I don't know what that was about, but the math teacher slammed the door in my face. Yes, I don't know what his problem is. It's like we're cursed with these things. Looks like you guys don't need us here. I'll see you later. Ah! Oh, hello there. I brought you some of our famous cupcakes. I think you'll really like these. Stop tapping your foot. I can't help it. So, where shall I begin? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um... Toy House 60, Toy House 60, it's Toy House 60. Come and like and share and subscribe before you go. Toy House 60, Toy House 60, it's Toy House 60.